Hello guys, this is Galdix and welcome to our tutorial. Make sure you subscribe, okay? Make sure you subscribe. Anyway, what I'm going to teach you today is this bad boy right here. See those little stars? Bang, 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 shh, bam, bam, until to where you want it, okay? Let me just play that again so that you know what you, what you, what you guys are going to learn. Bump up the enthusiasm. I'm not, I'm not going to be loud because it's late. The one neighbors is like knocking on my door and stuff. There you go. And my neighbor looks like a child molester store, so I don't I don't I don't want I don't want to mess around with that type of you know, stuff. You know? He looks like a molester, uh, like a you know one of those people. So this is what we're gonna be. I think he came out of jail. I don't know. He just looks like jail and his face looks like jail. I don't know what jail, what jail looks like because I've never been in there, but his face looks like jail. And if jail has a face, his face is there. See that? See that? You know, imagine that. Bang, having a camera, zoom in and zoom out. Bang. You know, you got that. Now, how I created this, you, see, you can see the color contrast, right? How I created this is this way. I have, I got this one, this thing from Google. It's called Milky Way Galaxy One. If you want, just type in that one in Google. You find it. That's what I got. Then I got the same thing. Put it into Photoshop. Crushed the blacks and um, blew up, blew up um, the whites. Ended up having that. You know that that color contrast. This um, image is contrasted to make it create, make it come out like that. And those are highlight highlighted uh, white bits are the little stars that you can see around. All right now enough of that cool so let's just go ahead and close this okay don't save go ahead and close this now click on that surface all right yeah so like I was saying today was crap it was just way too cold way too cold and the snow was way too heavy because there was a snowstorm and that, that stuff just isn't cool. You know, make sure if you just go to reset, you know, just increase that to 100, 1, 2, 3, 100,000. And uh, that one is supposed to emit type surface. Okay? Then apply close. Now, once you do that, you can just go back and play. See that? Increase, increase your timeline to. I'm gonna be ridiculous. Twelve. No. One thousand two hundred. That's about right. Twelve thousand. I was like, damn, god damn. Anyway, you've got that coming out. All right. So um, click on that. The plane. The plane. The plane. Article on just just display hide select dead. Now go back. Now you got that. You got the particles coming out. Press fast to shade them. Okay, we got our particles. So select your particles again. Now go into emitter. When you go into emitter, you scroll down, you see texture emission attributes. And attributes are supposed to be attached to nerves or poly surfaces only, but we use the poly as you saw. Now, when you import, right now we're going to import the particle color, okay? And this is just an uh, uh, image that we haven't touched at all, it's directly just brand new from the internet. This one, bang, okay? We've got that. Now, if you go ahead and play it, nothing is happening, see? Nothing has happened. You know why? Because we did not um, speci uh, specify to inherit color. Okay? We didn't specify to inherit color. Now, if you go back and play it still, you're not getting anything. Okay? Now, close that. Before we get, we go to where we, we have to go, I'm going to import the texture rate. Okay? Now, if I import... The texture, this is the sort of 
the one that specifies where the stars will be the black and white image this bubble right here so you're saying the stars will be here here this white bit this is where the information will be and the black bits will have no information and the color will come from the image that we just put up in the beginning so that import go back and make sure you've got enable texture and inherit color all these have to be checked these two have to be checked inherit and enable have to be checked now if you go back play you're getting a little bit of something because you have you have um, specified to you know inherit the shape so you're getting that shape now um, we're not getting any colors still so to get color we have to go into into our um, particle shape and go to color okay once you the color thing pops up you've got three options you could add per object attribute I'll teach you how, how this one um, works you have add per particle attribute and shader because right now we've got a picture that has pixels and we want to want to add uh, color or information per what well, we want to add a particle per pixel we want the pixel to be replaced by a particle so in with, with that said I want you guys to, to know that when you download an image make sure it's high quality that way it's nice and perfect if it's pixelated you'll be getting a crappy crappy result make sure it's high quality picture so we're gonna click on add per particle attribute add attribute go back play that there you go you've got your Milky Way Galaxy thingy right here now I'm not happy because it's going forever you know it's going forever so we're not happy about it going forever so we're gonna go back to emitter you know it's emitting we're dealing with emission so we're gonna turn the speed to zero because it's moving too fast you know it's moving forever we're gonna uh, turn the speed to zero and the minimum distance to zero we'll leave it like that maximum distance my unit we're gonna say maybe three and nothing special about the number by the way and just go back it will build up build up to that okay and if you want you can fly through a camera these are all stars okay fly through a camera camera Milky Way galaxy and all the way up all the way in that's how it works all these are stars making the Milky Way galaxy so guys I hope you've learned something and you can get this and compose it with uh, you know the environment whatever environment you want to compose it uh, compose it this into and you know you've got your result so and if you want you can spin it to your desire to your desire I like the word desire it reminds me of desire to desire something to want something see it depends how you want it so guys you can go ahead and play with it play with it does that remind you of anything play with it <laughs> part of my dirty mind so guys there you have it and you know I hope you like it make sure you subscribe and comment and make sure you like the picture you, you like the, the tutorial guys I love it when you like my, my, my videos make sure you like this video if it's helpful if it's not helpful like it anyway because it will be helpful in the future so there you have it make sure you subscribe thank you very much and see you later